This is Toby, first thing in the morning, just learning to come out of his crate calmly. Shakes it off, so that's good. And I'm just waiting for him to acknowledge me and sit. Good boy. And now we're going to go outside before he would rush the door, so I'm just asking him to wait until I go out, and then I'm inviting him to come out. So once I've invited him outside, I just want him to relax, come to me when he wants and sit in front. So right now, I'm not actually asking him to come and sit in front of me. I'm just walking with him and letting him decide. And when he does, I may give him a treat or I may just give him a scratch on the chest. You can see he's he still has a lot of energy. He's not completely calm, but he's learning. This is day four, so he's been working on this all week. Lots of stretching, and yawning, lots of calming signals, so he is calming himself down. And every time I stop, again, I'm not asking him to come back to me. I'm just waiting to see what he does. So that's a really nice stretch there. And I just back up, which actually brings him towards me. And he's doing a great job on what he's learned this week, which is to sit and not jump up. Here I'm just doing a little bit of T-touch on his back end. And you can see that helped him out. He was able to shake it off. And it's a beautiful morning at Doggies in Paradise. This is day five. I don't know if you can see these guys. Riley and Toby. Riley's still playing with Toby. So this is Toby with his harness. In the beginning, it was very difficult for him. So we've been working a lot, a lot of T-touch around his midsection. Um, you can see it's still difficult, especially with the distraction of the dogs barking outside, but he's doing really well. Here we are. Tobe's outside. He's, uh, he was lying down with the bone, but as you can see, Cashew's here. Riley's here. And Toby's he's not bothering anybody. He's just, uh, well... He's figuring out what he wants to do. So there he just grabbed his own bone and he's going back to have that, which is good. So here we're going to look at some loose leash walking. Um, I've taught Toby a couple of different cues here. With me means for him to stay at my left side. Um, he targets my hand every once in a while by touching his nose to it kind of shows him how to just stay in that place. And then if he does feel like he's drifting off, I might call him back and ask him to sit in front of me and then turn and again ask him with me. You can see he comes right back to the left side. So he's walking nicely. I'm actually not even holding on to the leash because I really want to teach him to be able to be in that position by himself. And again, calling him back to me and then giving him a lot of praise because he just did a really, really great job with that. He's not pulling at all. He's not jumping up. He's very relaxed. <laughs> 